hardware? You think you're we got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scope, no clip size, barrel. Look a little rough up. You won't regret Talk it. Talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgeons. Read all about it. Institute replaces people with machines. Are you next? I'm in.
sound, what is it? I'm gonna splatter your brains! there.
Perfect. Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Hey, Arturo. Got some great stuff, if you're interested. 
I've got a few minutes to browse. Something for everyone. I've got a few minutes to browse. Anything? Mm-hmm. Let's see what you have. Oh, sure. Hey.
There we go. Identify yourself.
Yes. Sweet.
tough. Come on. Bingo.
Excellent. Hey. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. Let's see what you have. Feel free to test. Remember, I don't serve sense. Supplies are just for humans. Let's see what you have. Everything you need.
to the Boston Public Library. The library is currently closed. Only employees and those with a scheduled appointment may enter. All other guests are invited to return during normal business hours. I work here. Let me in. Please provide your six-digit employee ID number. Yes, right. My ID number is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Please enjoy your visit. Mind the mess. We are currently undergoing maintenance. Protect and serve. Excellent. Attention! Security breach near Un rear Identified intruder detected. Citizens, you may now resume your normal activities. Attention, this is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm up to and including death if you remain in the area. This notice required by law.
Yeah? Carla, need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. Shop's open. What do you want? I've got a few minutes to browse. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. A real bolt suit? Damn. If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old fashioned pistol or anything else you need. Let's see what you got. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. You need protection. Everyone does. Let's see what you have. Something for everyone. You again. All right, got plenty of supplies. Let's see what you got. Just don't call it junk. Here to pick up a swatter, right? I've got a few minutes to browse. A swatter never runs out of bullets. Yeah, it's true.
Who's there?
Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? <laughs> I'm listening. That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Vault suit, huh? Hell Hi. yeah. Hey. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. What's up? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? <clears throat> in the back room. You there. We need to have a conversation. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. God, I love this song. A broken down dream. Hey, everyone, gather around. Let's kick.
Heads up. How you doing, buddy? Going home now. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job.
がって Here's something. What? Who's that like can smell you out there? <laughs> Go ahead and hide in the leader. <laughs>
Maria's in charge. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. So dead. Get back, I'll cover you. Come on, head on down. It's not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not so did you find out what happened to the courier? She is? No. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? 
You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, I'll start in Good Neighbor. Toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. What, you need something to take the edge? Boy, we got beer. Hotel Rexford. You ain't They'll buying you beer, out. you ain't buying. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal wants a word. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I loved the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. You're a survivor, aren't you? I bet the whole world could stand in your way and you'd just keep going. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always gonna be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Excuse me, miss. I'll see you around, good neighbor. I'm sorry. I have to go. You take care. I have to head back. Before you even... Fred? Are you going to hang out?
can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Hate the Institute? Follow. Entertainments down the stairs. Yeah? Huh? You step through the gate, you got balls. Smell that? That's free. Freedom. Running from something? Welcome home. Hey, Charlie. Hold her up, or forever hold your damn mouth shut. Gonna pass. Uh. Took a walk out in the fence. Had to talk with a man about something. You sticking around, you'll need to join a crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Always a catch with the no-nos, but she pays. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Yeah? Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Peace, sister. What? He needs something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, lady. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. From what I just heard, that might be a bad idea. Don't tell me you're siding with those idiots. Look, if you've got the caps, I'm not gonna let you down. I used to run with the gunners, for God's sake. You're acting like I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. Maybe it's better that you don't. I don't want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Well, if my caps aren't good enough to answer that question, I can take him somewhere else. All right, all right. You need to get your panties in a bunch. Tell you what, price is 250 caps. Up front and non-negotiable. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Heads up. Well? Hey. Yeah? It's about time for you to go, McCready. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. If you change your mind, you know where to find me.
Axes to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. Yes. Hey. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Mm -mm. That one was for a special member of the audience. You know who you are. Beautiful as always, Mags. Hey, Magnolia. No you hearts. again. It's my lucky day. What stuff. do you need? Just do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but... She and I are just having a little... Relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. Maybe 500 caps will help make her available. Well, that's different. The truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. 
So I locked her in there until he could figure out what to do with her. For 500 caps, I'm happy to make her your problem. Here, let me unlock the door for you. Uh, I've got to warn you, she's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. You must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? <clears throat> I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. The signal is strangely weak. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. 
Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Ready? Let's go. You should... Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We hey. We need to get to Parsons. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Damn. The door is blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this is gonna be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust in. What the fuck? <laughs> Disappearing act, huh? This is my property. You are trespassing. <laughs> my arm! <laughs> Have been fun. 
fun, huh? I can do this all day. Time for this. My leg. Won't be able to pick this. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not nice. Dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while, I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past the... It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Let's get on with it. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. There. A mess. If I Let's find hope we can find a way the through. Fucking what the hell? The elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. Huh? Ah! Hey, who's there? More of them! Get her. 
hurt me. My leg! How many of these bastards are there? Ah! Good. The old utility elevator is still working. Going this will take down. us to the basement. need the key kill everyone you see don't hesitate we can't let them release Lorenzo idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Shit, they're breaking through the security doors. Hurry it up! That's it. I'm Just keep turning. Counterclockwise. Was beyond your capabilities. That's it. Now I can feel my strength return. Now, oh, I will finally be free. Fine, keep your shit. Come on, girl! It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door, and let me out. He's lying! Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. You fool! Ah, at long last, you did the right thing. You'll see. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can. It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them.
Sounds good to me. Then let us adjourn to Cabot House. I'm sure that's where they'll hole up. I'll meet you there. Just don't start without me. Let's go. Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. She has a point. Your story about curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what she has to say. She's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time. Yes, Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me. Although he's understandably pretty pissed off. Well, goddamn. I guess you have some explaining to do, Jack. You can't seriously doubt me, Edward. After all I've done for you? Oh my! Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent! You I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic... Worthless lives! That is now over. Your time is up. <clears throat> well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. They had it coming. I can see you understand the deep satisfaction of revenge long delayed. Now that I've taken care of that bit of old business, I can see that I have a lot to learn. Things have changed while I've been locked away. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. I can see that we're gonna get along just fine. Oh, I knew that from the first moment I saw you in that cell. I knew you would understand why freeing me was the right thing to do. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. 
Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink, if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. Excuse me. It's a damn shame things had to end like this. Thanks for backing me up. I never thought you'd turn on Jack like that. I've had my doubts about the Lorenzo situation for a long time. You may not realize. I've been working for the Cabot since before the Great War. I never met Lorenzo, of course. He was already locked up in Parsons when I came on board. So I've had to take Jack's word for everything the whole time. And I won't lie. I had a good situation here, and I didn't want to rock the boat. I don't know if it was the right decision or not. But what's done is done. Well, good luck. It's been a real pleasure working for you. Same to you. I'm sorry I got you involved in this mess. Well... No point in hanging around here any longer. I'm done with the cabots. Uh, hi. Wanna do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Oh, I do hope you're here to make a purchase. It's what I live for. I'll take a look, sure. Anything and everything. Yeah. Hey, Carla. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. I'll take a look, sure. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. If you're here to trade, let's trade. I'll take a look, sure. A little bit of everything.
Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. 